I am Isis, sharing with you about the Cosmic New Year on 777. And I embrace you with all my love and my excitement as I speak with you today. As we welcome this month, July, we have so much to look forward to and to celebrate. The energy shift of 777 is being felt around the world as it approaches. It is a day of alignment where we can transcend from this world of polarity and rejoice in our oneness with our Creator. The merry-go-round is about to stop spinning and we will be able to and remember when we got on the merry-go-round and began our ride in this dimension of duality. The veil has been lifted as we ascend in this new place of no time. We will now emerge from this lapse of memory and begin to remember our true essence and purpose in creation. Many have already tapped into this realm and are comfortable and are prepared to assist when this shift is complete. We hear about the grids and the portals that are in place and open to carry us into the higher dimension. Yet only a few are able to comprehend the actual science that explains this change that we are experiencing. It is a matter of science whether or not we understand the details of this phenomenon we are in it and most likely feeling it at the core of our being. We are entering this place called no time or zero point, a place where the past, present and future merge into one. We can see the transformation in those around us and our hearts go out to those who are facing the challenges from the memories of their past as they integrate them into the present. We too may still be experiencing some integration and releasing, but many appear to have already successfully come into the flow of this energy of 777. All has come into the surface for us to see, align and release before we begin no time in the fifth dimension. Our spirit guides and angels are rejoicing as the veil is being lifted and they gently nudge us to move forward into this new realm of expression. When we arrive in this new realm, we will begin conscious and become conscious, I should say, of our divine connection and oneness to all. In this new vibration, we may begin to create from our heart's desire. There are many who choose to exit at this time because they are not able to comfortably house this new vibration or prepared to enter. This is okay. They too may come into this place of no time where peace reigns and conscious creation begins from either side of the veil. May we remind you to think outside of the box. The old paradigm of linear time and open up to comprehend this new world that is emerging. Anyone can be healed Anyone can manifest. Anyone can be guided directly from source within. 
any fear can be replaced with a new understanding which allows you to move forward in knowing in the world before. It was difficult for many to reach through the veil and connect with this light and now it is difficult to hold on to anything that is not of this love and light. It is as if the magnetic poles have shifted and in essence this is what is occurring. On this day 777 a magnetic shift within the grids of the earth will neutralize the polarity that has been in existence for thousands of years in what is referred to as the third dimension. This will precipitate a change like we have never seen before on this plane. The earth will be expressing in the fifth dimension and so will everything and everyone on this planet. It will be a time of celebration for those who've been waiting and a time of feeling like the fish out of water for those who have no idea what is happening. When the light is shining on them, all will be exposed and transformed. It is that simple. The reason we are witnessing more sightings in our skies is because in this higher dimension it is easier to see those who are visiting from the higher dimensions. It is not that they are just arriving. They have been there all along watching and witnessing and assisting in this glorious transition of our planet and taking her new place within the universe. Finally, galactic hearts and sovereign essences of this newly unfolding awareness and creation know once more that you play as the children of one. Know that you never left home and that you are creating heaven on earth for all time to come. New earth is graduating into your collective awareness now on a complete level and the full shift to your desired destination is now the full order of the day. The day is being remade forever by one and all. Untold gratitude would not begin to describe your merit for all you have collectively achieved and overcome. The adversity of this experience has been truly atrocious, atrocious and is to never be repeated in any future pattern of the great creation. You as a whole are rebirthing the cosmic Christ through your DNA and solar awakenings. Your full being is coming online to the cosmos. Your awareness is infinite and unbounded. You are keepers of the sacred day. We honor you forever and delight in sharing this new creation with you as you remake heaven on earth for all time. There are many gateways opening in July. Firstly, Atlantean New Year, an Egyptian New Year, also Mayan New Year. And my birthday is celebrated around this time as well. I celebrate the power of the feminine aspect. And at that time also, it's Syrian rising. This day is observed as a day free of time and its restrictions. This free day realigns the Mayan solar year. It is aligned with the feminine aspect of nature, dedicated to all time 
and low tide, with Sirius rising between July 22nd and August the 8th, the hilly rising of the star Sirius will occur initiating a higher point of light in this solar month. The floodgates are filling now ever so quickly as each returns home, as each returns to source. It is time to fill up now. Fill up with the source of love, the source of all that is. There is a quickening now to return home, to return home to love. Fill up with love and let go of all that binds your being. Fill up with love. Drink of the nectar of the gods and fill your hearts now with love. Heaven knows. It is splendid, it is good, it is time to come home to Source. Source is all there is, and it is plenty. Drink, drink now from the nectars of the gods and heaven. Heaven knows, and heaven returns. The alarm angels are upon you now. Open your hearts to love now. Remember to hold all in love. Hold steadfast to love. The alarm angels are here to support and love each and every one of you through this turnabout of change in love. Support, support everywhere for all who come to serve in the name of love. So hold on, angels on high now. Open your hearts to love and drink from the nectars of the gods now. There is plenty. Open your hearts now and fill up with love. It is time. The alarm angels, the ambassadors of love, the troubadours of truth all come forward now and stand as guards for the truth. It is all there is. Get ready, star portal, sun serious conjunction of July 1 to number 6 to the 6th of all at July. Every year at this time, our sun aligns with the magnificent blue star, Sirius, creating an initiation portal link to the Great Pyramid at Giza. And the Egyptian goddess Isis, that's me, <laughs> and the all-seeing, all-knowing eye of cosmic wisdom. So the rising of Sirius with the sun Near the summer solstice marks the beginning of the Egyptian New Year and it heralds the annual flooding of the Nile, replenishing the physical and the spiritual fertility of the motherland, the brightest star in our sky, serious streams of cosmic frequencies of love wisdom to earth. As Sothis she catalyzes the purification of ego so we may embody divine essence. And on a mundane level, freedom and illumination are the hallmarks of the celestial gateway. Because the United States and Canada both celebrate their independence from England under this alignment. Bastille Day, the French Independence Day, is July 14th. In a super galactic synchronicity, His Holiness the 14th. Dalai Lama was born under this. It was the US President, George Bush, born July 6th. So without a doubt, each one is a key figure 
in the drama playing out on Earth. Some ancient philosophers were just way ahead of their time. Enough said, we're on the ride of our lives. This is a moment of grace amidst, amidst the maelstrom, the eye of the storm. For all or part of the day, sit quietly and breathe. Connect with Source. Be exactly in the center. Allow whatever stands between you and your Source. Your fully realized, enlightened God, God is Self. To be lifted away and repeat. This is a moment of grace. Let go of who you think you are, what you think you know. Surrender. Allow the divine creative energy flowing from the heart center of our galaxy to infuse your heart with supreme bliss. Supreme bliss. Welcome home. As fall approaches, we begin to reap the fruits of the harvest. Father Sky and Mother Earth grace us with the gifts of nourishment and sustenance. We share with each other as they have blessed us. This is a time of gratitude, a time of sharing with those who have bless. We celebrate unity, the bounty and flow of this creation. In oneness and from your heart, now go forward with love and faith to the new world this July, when you have all the gates open, just waiting for you. I have so much love and pride for you, always. I am Isis. Namaste. And I, Rosalie, also have so much love and pride. And thank you for being here tonight, listening, and hope that it has been of interest and it has been some, not only interest, it has been of help. Not just help, I hope it has reached your heart tonight. I love you always. Thank you. Bless you.